up mga good squad? This is your resident Bidabidang vlogger Kuya Joboy and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we'll be talking about something. Something that is very relevant to our generation and to our time today. If you're interested about this topic, please continue watching. But before anything else, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to keep you updated sa aking mga upcoming videos. For today's video, we'll be talking about quitting. This has been one of the you know issues against our generation when we start up something we immediately uh, quit on it you no know? and that is how our generation has been labeled you no know, we don't really we don't commit we, we we are lacking commitment and stuff like that we easily quit on something we are um, <clears throat> not motivated enough to do something so um, I want to share something today that is um, related to the topic which is quitting. I hope this video will help you on overcoming that attitude because ang nangyari kasi, it seems like it's so easy to do it and it becomes a habit. It becomes a bad habit and that is why I want to share something. I don't know how many people will be able to see this but I felt like I want to use this platform to share about this topic or this concern concerning about this um, issue which is quitting so um, before anything else I'd like to share the reasons why people quit why people quit why do we quit no una una because of familiarity people com um, quit because of familiarity it's when they do something yet they don't feel excited about it along the way in the long run they feel like um, it bores them and because of that they want to do they want to explore something exciting they want to explore something that um, will not bore them so that's what they do they they quit on it they they, they quit immediately um, another reason why people quit it's because of burnout or exhaustion people quit because they're already tired they're tired of doing something the same over and over again and feel like they're already ineffective or unproductive or they feel like they are boxed boxed on a certain um area where like for example in work or school and when they're already burned out they quit just because they are tired they quit Another reason why people quit it's because they want to escape. No, they want to escape on uh, something. No, um, probably it's the responsibility or the consequences of their choices. That is why they want to quit on it because they want. They don't want the consequences. They don't want to face the responsibility of what they are doing, and because of that, no, um, people tend to um, give up because they they feel like they were not prepared for the responsibility they thought that um, it would be easier to quit than to face that responsibility another reason why people quit is they feel unproductive or unappreciated people quit because they feel like they're unproductive they are unappreciated they feel devaluated on what they're doing like maybe in ministry school or work or also in business they feel like they are doing something yet they don't see any progress they don't see anything good as a result of what they're doing uh, another reason why people quit it's because they're not really into it it's not what they want you know, people quit because right at the beginning it's not what they want they just did it or they just committed on it at first because probably of curiosity um, because of need and when they found out that later on it's not what they want in life they quit those are the reasons why people quit but today I'll be sharing something also um, which I hope will encourage all of you guys um, talking about why we shouldn't quit I'll give you reasons 
why you should not quit. Number one reason why you shouldn't quit is that progress is not overnight. Anything and everything that you are doing, you know, it will not result into something immediately because progress is not overnight, it is over time. Now, I wanted to understand this because a lot of people, they want to see results on what they are doing. It is over time, it means it will really take time, it takes a lot of patience takes a lot of patience to see the results of what we are doing so it's not something that you do and then the results will come Im immediately or instantly that's what th that is one of the problems of our generation we want things to be instant we want things to be easy for us and that is a wrong concept nothing that is great comes easy Everything comes with a price and everything comes after patience is being tested now You really have to wait for it for for the results to happen for the results to come another reason why you shouldn't quit It's because growth is also the goal Now and as much as we want to see results and as much as we want to see products of what we are doing the fruit of our labor but what we don't see is that our personal development, our growth as a person is also one of the goal. Why we do something, why we commit into something. Why why are we in school? Because to, to improve ourselves. Why are we in this company? Because for us to grow at the same time. Why are we going to um, start a business? Part of it is our growth individually. So I want us to understand that growth is also part of the goal. It's not just about the results, but it's also you improve yourself. So it's not just about the fr fruits, but it's also about the process. How the process is going to impact you. How the process is going to help you improve yourself. Another reason why you should not quit, it's because you don't want to miss an opportunity. You know what? Sometimes we easily quit because we don't see ourselves um, doing it in the future. But we don't realize, we did not realize that it might be an opportunity that we will miss. Mm -hmm. Because who knows? Maybe it's just your feeling right now it's just your emotions telling you that um, you want to quit but you know what as they say opportunity knocks once that is your opportunity and you didn't realize because you were so focused on you being tired you being this and that maybe you just missed out the whole point why are you in that company why are you in that um, venture that you chose to go into right now maybe you just miss out that it is actually your opportunity but you are so focused on yourself your your hurts and pains and frustrations and failures in life to the extent that you don't want to do it anymore Ayaw muna. but you know what look at yourself look at where you are right now as an opportunity to improve as an opportunity to um, do something good do something great and by that changing your perspective will let you understand that where you are is actually an opportunity another reason why you should not quit because rest is still available people quit because they are tired forgetting that they're actually they can still choose to rest you know what it's better to rest first than think things thoroughly before quitting why maybe you're just tired you just need some time to relax and think things over before quitting Okay, before you quit, you have to take some rest first. Maybe it's time to renew your vision, to renew um, your perspective, change everything, the outlook in life, you know, disconnect with the world for, a, for just a moment or just be with people that will really help you. you know? Don't quit immediately, you just have to rest. Take some time to rest. Another reason why you should not quit because God is not done with you yet.
I want you to understand that where you are is not your permanent situation. Your present situation is not your permanent destination. And I want you to look at yourself that there is beyond what you are doing. And God is not done yet in your life. Wherever you are right now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, wherever you are right now, might feel uncomfortable, inconvenient para sa you, but that's, that's life. Maybe you are there because... Um, because for a reason, you, you, we are always, um, where we are will always have a reason. And maybe that where you are has a reason and God is not done with you yet. So you don't quit immediately. You quit because you're already done. Okay? So maybe there are a lot of things that seem to be very, very hard to you right now. Maybe you're facing through different phases in your life or um, you're, face, um, you're facing different um, struggles and hard times in what you are doing. Maybe it may be in, in your work or in your business or in your school. Um, just don't quit. Just don't do it. Don't do it because there is more that God has prepared for you and wherever you are right now is just a glimpse of what is ahead of you maybe the struggles that you are facing is a part of the big picture of what God is doing so do not quit that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you were blessed and you've learned something out from this video you know i want you to comment it down below something that you learned from this video or maybe you have something to add up please don't forget to leave this video a comment shout out muna kay rika no rika yume it's uh, she also has her youtube channel please do subscribe to her it's her, it's May Rike you may no I think that's her channel and also to Kuya Joseph Bakuli um, that's her, his YouTube channel also shout out to you thank you so much for supporting me and for everyone all my good squad thank you guys again please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to keep you updated sa aking mga upcoming videos and also um, please give this video a thumbs up if you like this and don't forget to share this to your people, to your friends, and to your countrymen. Now, to help me spread the good news and the good vibes. And that's it for today. Thank you so much everyone. Shalom. God bless. God bless you.